Hi everyone. We're continuing our lockdown extravaganza, lockdown exploration, episode three. We're gonna work on our underhooks and our electric underhooks, and then we'll move on. Three E. Huh? Three E. Three E. Three C. Oh no. Three O E. That's a cool. So we're gonna start with our lockdown. No, actually we won't. We'll start cutting around on the top. I need to get my lockdown in order to get this underhook back sometimes. Say she's really tight. I can't get my I can't use Jaws of Life for any reason. I'm gonna pull her into me, search for my lockdown. Once I find it with my left foot, I always have it. Boom. Now I'm gonna do a whip down. So I'm taking my right hand, spin a little bit. Taking my right hand at this moment because her head is, she has head control on this side. And I'm going to try to, basically, if I can keep this arm underhooked, I'll sweep her. But she is going to post her hand, square back up, and I'm going to get tight underhooks at the base of her head. Gable grip and squeeze. It's not forever reaching up and just holding on tight. And it's not just under and connected to her back. It's keeping my shoulders shrugged, squeezing, elbows tight, and hands curling in. I want her ear next to my ear. Now, once we have this, I'm just gonna use my lockdown a tiny bit to make sure I have her controlled, get used to moving people around here. Now I'm gonna pull up, take my right hand off, and underhook her leg. So now I'm here, I can control this, just as well as I can control double underhooks. Now we're gonna to get to the crossroads. I'm just gonna pull up and drive to the right. So whip up and whip to the side. My head in a live scenario, I'm trying to talk to the camera right now, but in a live scenario will be dove really deep into the, the crease of her hip, basically, my forehead, right here. Person on top should always get an overhook or risk getting their back taken, okay? And we're here, this is the crossroads, and we'll work from here.